YouTube, it's Bill from Z Money here, and I know we haven't spoken in a while, but I am back, and I just want to wish everyone a happy new year and happy holidays. So over the break, I was busy with work, and then I got sick, so that's why I haven't been on here in a bit, but we're back with some big changes. So I finally got with the Robin Hood. <laughs> right. So I finally was able to sign up for the card, and I actually got the card delivered to me, which I am going to show you guys here today. So it came in a little package, and when you open the package, this is what you get, right? So, just a nice black casing with the Robin Hood logo on it, and to open it, there's a little arrow right here that you just pull, and when you pull that arrow, the card pops up. And what it says on this side, it says democratizing America's financial system. Right, so you have the nice little thing here. So and when you take the card out, I got the one with the nice American flag on it. So it looks like that. It's a very light card, it's small, it's very neat looking and clean. And so this is the front and this is the back. I'm not going to show you any of the info on it. That's the back right there. And just a very clean looking card. It has the chip with the American flag on it. And it has the nice Robin Hood logo in chrome on there. That actually <coughs> changes colors. So when you go like this, it, it goes from green to the chrome color. It's a very clean looking, basic looking card. And I just wanted to show you guys it today. It's not heavy at all, has no weight to it, but it's a nice looking card. And I enjoy the casing and the effort that went into it. So what we're gonna do for the rest of the video, we're gonna hop onto my Robinhood account. I'm gonna show you a little update. Now that I have the Robinhood cash management, I'm putting a lot of my money in there because it earns 1.8% interest. And whenever I don't invest, that money accrues. So pretty much with the cash management, it, trans it goes through different banks and your money gains you interest at 1.8%, which is much higher than most average banks, which is like 0.2% nowadays. I think it came like five or 10 cents a month from them, but now I'm getting close to over a dollar a month and I will show you guys that once we hop over to Robinhood. Alright, so we're gonna hop over right now and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so we are at the portfolio now and as you can tell we have $7,911 total invested. Some of that is buying power and today we are up $8.72. We have a thousand dollars and fifty one thousand and fifty seven dollars in buying power for just when an opportunity comes opportunity comes across. The past week we're up we're down a dollar. Past month we're up forty five dollars. Past three months we're up four hundred and seventy six dollars, which is about six point four percent. In the past year we're up three hundred and sixty two dollars, which is Almost 5% at 4.8. So, just running through my stocks now. The first stock is Apple. I'm not going to run through all of them, but I will show you. I still have two shares of Apple. And Apple's been doing pretty well in the past week. They've gone up. And Microsoft. I have two shares of Microsoft still. For a total equity of $318. Now going down... I bought a few more shares of AT&T, 14 shares now, and a total of $551, 8% of equity, 8% of my portfolio, rather. We gained $14 overall for AT&T. And now going down, we have Realty Income. Oh, we have 15 shares of Realty Income now, which is 16.3% of my portfolio. This is my largest position in my portfolio. And total return, we're down $2.69. 
I bought a bunch more shares when the when all the real estate stocks were going down. And now we have Ford, or still oh, just in the past month, down a dollar seventy, down four dollars in the past three months, and in the past year it's up eleven dollars. And now we have Ford. I have a total of 26 shares of Ford, which is 3.48% of my portfolio. It's $238 in equity. And my total return is $3.49. Now we have Arbor Realty Trust, ABR. We have 18 shares, 3.77% of my portfolio. We are up almost $10 on them total. 3.8%. Now going down, I bought some LTC properties for f around $42 a share or so. It is now at $44 a share. And I have eight shares total, which is $357, 5.2% of my equity of my portfolio position. And just to show you the dividend here, it's about 5%. And I also bought Store Capital, which is another real estate company. So I bought a lot of real estate stocks while they were down this past month or so. I have seven shares in them. And now we're going to go over to my cash management side of this. So as you can tell, I have $1,057 in spending power that I can withdraw or purchase some stocks. My total interest earned this month is $0.34. Cents. That was from January, the beginning of January. <clears throat> now, let's go check out my dividends that I got paid for December and for then I will be getting paid for January so I got paid a bunch of times in December and starting on December 2nd I got paid by ABR eight shares we got paid a total of two dollars and forty cents Ford paid us a dollar eighty for twelve shares Honeywell paid us ninety cents for one share SPGI paid us 57 cents for one share. Microsoft paid us $1.02 for two shares. O Dividend paid us $1.36 for six shares. That's a monthly dividend paying stock, so I am happy to see that increasing. Wendy's paid us 36 cents for three shares. McDonald's paid us $1.25 for one share. Waste Management paid us $1.54 for three shares. FDVV paid us 50 cents for two shares. PGX paid us 10 cents for one share. SPHD paid us 15 cents for one share. LTC Properties paid us $1.52 for eight shares. IRM paid us $1.86 for three shares. And now this is starting in January. Noble paid us. 44 cents for one share and January 15th I will be getting three dollars and 41 cents from dividend O dividend Zim will pay us 78 cents for eight shares and Disney will pay us seven dollars and four cents for eight shares Disney's semi-annual company that pays dividends semi-annually so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As you can tell, I was playing around with the effects a little bit and just to try to make these videos more entertaining and just to be a little more creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in that next video. If you guys can do me a favor, just smash that like button, comment down below what you guys want to see next, and hit that subscribe button for more videos because we're going to get into some fitness videos and I know I haven't done any of those yet, but we'll start with those. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace.